a story from Mitch Chaifetz's The Curse of Blessings. This story is called Just a Miracle. There was a young prophet named Elijah who had just graduated from the School of Prophets and started out on his own, traveling through the countryside, looking for opportunities to exercise his trade. He was in the miracle business. He came through a village and found there a woman who was very unhappy. Why are you so unhappy, he asked. Because all of my friends are married and I am not, she answered in tears. And how is it that a beautiful young woman like you is not married? Because I'm not beautiful, she complained. Elijah reached into his bag and found a mirror. Look into this and you will be beautiful. She looked and indeed she seemed to herself beautiful. Therefore she was beautiful. In short order, she found a man who could see her beauty and she was married. When she told the people of the village about Elijah and his mirror, they dismissed it. It was just a self-affirmation, they said. The next year, Elijah returned to the village and again he found the woman unhappy. Why are you so unhappy now, he asked. Because I have no child. All of my friends have children, but my husband and I have no child. Elijah reached into his bag and withdrew a small piece of parchment upon which was written a prayer. He told her to recite the prayer every morning and evening. Soon she became pregnant and had a son. When she told the people about Elijah and the prayer, they dismissed it. It was just a relaxation exercise, they said. The next year, Elijah returned to the village, and again he found the woman unhappy. Why are you unhappy this time, he asked. Because my husband was laid off from work. We have no money and nothing to eat. Nothing at all? Do you have anything in your refrigerator? Only one jar of olive oil, she said. Elijah instructed her to fetch all of her buckets and barrels and to borrow buckets and barrels from all of her neighbors. When she opened the one jar of oil, it poured and poured and filled all the buckets and barrels. She and her husband went into the olive oil business and did well. When she told the people about Elijah and the jar of oil, they dismissed it. It was just a jar of compressed oil, they said. The next year, Elijah returned to the village and again he found the woman unhappy, unhappier than ever. What is the matter now? Elijah asked. Our son is ill, the woman cried. He is close to death. Elijah went into the house and found the son was not only ill, in fact, he had died. He stretched himself on top of the young boy. When he stood, the boy stirred and came back to life. When the woman told the people about Elijah and her son, they dismissed it. It was just CPR, they said. Well, Elijah was fit to be tied. He had facilitated four perfectly good miracles. One to get her a husband, one to get her a child, one to get her a livelihood, and one to give life back to her son. All were good miracles, but the people of the village had dismissed them. I'm going away, he said, and I won't be back until people appreciate a good miracle when they see one. With that, he summoned a fiery chariot out of heaven. It landed on the village green. Elijah climbed aboard, smiled at the beautiful young woman and asked, do you know how to see a miracle? When she seemed confused, he winked. You do know, just think about it. Then in sight of everyone, the chariot leaped into the sky. Now, what do you think the people of the village said when they saw that? Did they think it was a miracle? No, they said it was just a special effect. For years, the young woman thought and thought about Elijah's words. She had no idea how to see a miracle until one day it just popped into her head. What had Elijah said? Just think about it. It wasn't the thinking, it was the word just. As soon as she grasped that, she was able to see miracles just everywhere. She became very wise. The word just puts blinders on you, she taught. So even though a miracle might be right there in front of you, you won't be able to see it. You would just this or just that, but never look into the depth of anything. Your eyes would never open in wonder. That you open your eyes at all is a miracle. The word just can't keep your eyes from seeing, but the word just can keep you from seeing the miracle of sight. Every time you hear the word just, Know that a miracle is on the other side of it. Anytime someone tells you to just do something, 
No, they are asking for the miraculous. Don't feel so bad about not being able to accomplish it right away. More and more students came to learn with her. Every now and then, Elijah himself stopped by to listen, but she was the only one who recognized him. Shabbat Shalom.